Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, just get back to me. Like I said, we have two offers currently. We're probably not going to make a decision until probably middle of the week. Man, I'm so glad we met. Yes, sir. Really yes, sir. So I met him through a cold call. And this guy is the head of an association, basically the homeowners association of a very affluent neighborhood in Grand Prairie. He's interested and I wanted to see it as something and offer. So we do have currently a couple of offers. Her number is a certain number and she's not willing to go higher than that. It's 400. Do you think we have a chance of writing it with the, like, wasting, uh, wasting time? Um, I think you have a chance at 400. Today I have a special treat for you. Today we're going to be going through and looking at a live open house. Uh, we have an open house today from 12 to 5. I have a lot of people that are going to be coming through and I'm going to take you inside my thought process, what I'm doing, who I'm talking with, what I'm saying. So if you've never heard or seen this type of content before, hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on because I drop new videos every week. And as always guys, let's get to this business. to me this is groundbreaking like life-changing stuff when you listen to this guy talk i'm serious so guys the first thing i like to do when i'm at my open houses is i come inside and i open up every single blind i want to put the shades all the way to the top let in as much natural light because what it does for a buyer when they enter the home it makes it feel open it makes it feel airy on a beautiful day where it's not too hot i'm gonna have the front door open i'm gonna have the back door open really letting that breeze through secondly i do like to turn on the ceiling fan again it adds a little motion to the house these are really small things but i'm telling you it goes a long way with the way you feel when you're in a house and that's what's most important that's what we're selling um, as far as that goes but it's always good to make people feel good when they're in your presence because that correlates with you as a person as well I always use my banner because it really sets the stage as soon as they walk through the door they see that banner they know i'm a professional and they can get the type of level of service that i bring because remember guys an open house is not about selling that house an open house is about getting more clients for the future about getting some of these neighbors who are coming over and want to take a look at the property the open house is about the people that are actually coming in with new buyers and some sellers if some of these neighbors come in and say, hey, we've been thinking about putting our house on the market too, what do you think? So it's a good piece to start the conversation and it's something that I always do. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Mark Branson. James Lee. Pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. How's it going? Good. Yeah. yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we got an open house today, so you just, you guys are the first people through the door, so. Take your time. All right. So these are the first people through the door. They actually had a showing, and so they're just kind of looking around the house. You guys been looking long? We, well, we did, and then we stopped, and then our, okay. our renting and our landlord let us know that he's, he's pumping our rent to a place to, we're not going to be able to afford. To yeah, apartment. yeah. It's a lot of that going on these days right yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't blame it. It's a little higher than it probably should be. But yeah. For sure. It's kind of our fault for not signing a longer, a longer lease. Yeah. Yeah, three bed, two bath. Um, you also have that office space if you want to kind of use that as an auxiliary room, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really nice backyard. My, my sellers actually had this as a rental property for a long time. I think she lived here a year right. and uh, it's been a rental ever since, but her tenants were really, really amazing. Like okay. this, is what had, this is what I walked into as soon as we were ready to go to the market. So they took very good care of the property. Okay. 
So yeah, the master will be here to your left and you also have your ensuite as well. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, good luck with the open house. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So just gauging, I um, don't really feel like they might be that interested in it. I think they might be looking for something else, but we'll kind of figure this out here in a minute. Usually if people linger around outside, um, they tend to be interested in the property. So let's see what they do. But overall, just my feeling of that interaction, I don't think they're really that interested in it. Um, I think they may, they may feel like the price may be a little bit too high, but in this area where the comps are, we're at $370,000 um, and almost a little bit under 1800 square feet. So we're priced, just to be honest, we're a little high, but the market is so crazy. We already have two offers on this property. One at full ask at all cash um, from Open Door, which is, you guys know Open Door. So that's in and of itself. Then we also have another full price offer. So they stayed a little bit kind of in front, just kind of talking things through. Um, but I just, again, I, I still don't feel like these are buyers. I think he might be going through what a lot of buyers are going through. They're not feeling this market. Market, they feel like stuff is too high for what you're getting, which in and of itself is kind of true. But the market is the market right now and the prices in Texas are just steadily going up. But again, good good little showing, good first showing and we'll be a better way. Well guys, I guess my radar was a little bit off on those. I just received some feedback over on Showing Time. If you're not familiar with Showing Time, that is a service that we use here in Texas. Um, it is backed by Zillow, which I kind of feel a little controversy about that because I'm not the biggest fan of Zillow. But at the end of the day, I'm doing what needs to be done for my business. And Zillow actually helps us out when you really think about it because my clients go and look on Zillow for the properties they want to buy. But anyway, uh, they did leave us some feedback. I'm going to let you see it right here. Hopefully you can see that. So the question that it asks is your client interested in the listing and they, they put very interested. Uh, please rate your overall experience. Excellent. Um, you and your client's opinion of the price, they put just right, right? Please rate this listing from a five being the best, one the worst, and they rate it as a four. So I expect we'll probably be getting an offer from them. That'll probably come through, and that's that's great because that's going to continue to push the price. My seller, just like all sellers, is wanting the most money possible, and that's what I'm going to do. So as soon as we get some more offers coming in, then I'm going to show you what I do as far as making these phone calls. This is something that I feel like a lot of agents lack. You don't pick up the phone, and honestly, it's something that pisses me off. Just to the, to the nines, man. I can't understand why agents don't answer the freaking phone, man. Like this thing has made me more money than anything else. And people really don't answer it. So I know that agents are missing their clients calls. I know that agents are missing prospect calls. It's crazy. But to me, if you call my number, I'm going to pick it up. And if I don't pick it up, I'm gonna get back to you. It's just that simple, guys. It's just that simple. But let's continue on with the open house. We should have some more people rolling up. You know, people like to come in usually about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and we'll go from there. How you doing? Good, good, good. You guys see the property online or just kind of drove by? Yeah. Uh, just drove. Just, oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, go ahead. I just have mine off because I'm going to be in here all day. <laughs> Mark, what's your name? Uh, Zim. David. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice pleasure, pleasure, you. pleasure, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Well, welcome, welcome. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, and then you also have an office space. So if you guys kind of want to just take a look around and then I'll meet you here right. and can talk you. about it, okay? Yeah, sure. sure. I think they came in here with the realtor. I think the realtor just pulled up maybe. We'll see. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. How many bedrooms? How many bedrooms? Yeah. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and you also have an office space outside of the bedroom. You kind of flew in here. How many square feet, two thousand? Uh, 1761. Mm-hmm. Just the car room with it. <laughs> no, you can't have my car. I'm gonna get home, man. <laughs> and so there off to your left is the master bedroom and you also have an ensuite inside. So I'm preparing my cards. Because when they come back out here, I'm gonna kinda talk to them a little and then we'll see if they got a realtor, what they got going on. How much are you asking? So the starting the price on this one is three hundred and seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. You guys been you guys been looking long? We wrote uh, okay. So disclosure, I'm a contractor and an investor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we we wrote several 
We wrote about 10 contracts, we got one. You got one? Really? Mm -hmm. Did you, you already picked it up? The one you were looking for? Yeah, but then later there was a huge problem. Oh, okay, so you're back at the drawing board, okay. I got yeah, you. But you know, it's like, everyone don't see until the inspection report comes in. Mm -hmm. Crap, seriously? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They, they don't disclose it. Yeah, yeah. So with this one, man, this house is definitely in really good shape. They only had one renter that lived here the entire time that she owned it. Um, she left, and my, my seller, she left and moved uh, to California. So there's only been one person uh, in wait, here. Wait, wait. Say that again. My seller, yeah. she moved to California. Say, say, say the, the, which state again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, I'm gonna let you read it. Oh, you're from California? California, yes. Uh, and so okay, she okay. moved there and she's had a renter in here and they've taken really good care of the place. So this one is a pretty solid home. I'm from Palmdale. Southern California? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you sound, yeah, it sound like you know you know exactly where you're talking. I'm talking yeah, about. I'm from California. Okay, well, absolutely. That's why I said what? <laughs> Californians are moving here. Yeah, yeah, yeah Texas, they're baby. There. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, nobody okay. wants. Everybody's trying because to get out of there. Tesla moved here. Yeah, it's Austin, right? To Austin, I mm -hmm. mean, you know, to Texas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it's like I, I do have a house in California. Do you? One story, three bedroom, one bath. 1,011 square feet. I have to put it 11 because it's slightly over 1,000. Yeah, what? what? One thousand, it's 1,000 square feet, three bedroom, one bar. That's it. 1.5. No, it's not 1.5. I wish it was. You wish it was. <laughs> It's 860000 Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, just get back to me. Like I said, we have two offers currently. We're probably not going to make a decision until probably middle of the week. Okay. Um, but if you want to put an offer in, definitely just give us a call. You put 20% right away, they give it to you. <laughs> 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 Love it, man. But I appreciate you coming by, for sure. Okay, yeah, I yeah. was looking. Thanks, thanks. Yes, sir. You take it easy. Yeah. Tell me about everything that's going on in the market but it is what it is uh, guys the market is the market it's not changing like i said here especially here in texas because each place every place in the united states has its own economy but here in texas it's not changing <laughs> like this is what it's going to be because people are moving here we have a destination that people want to be in to escape you know yeah property property prices are going up property taxes are going up but the one thing where people are coming from the income tax is zilch here. So you're saving money there. They don't mind paying that extra property tax. So that's what we're dealing with. You heard it yourself from him. He's an investor. He put in 10 offers on 10 different properties and got one. And then it ended up having a lot of issues during the inspection period. So it, it just, it's good to be a seller. I'm selling a property right now. We're going to do a video on that. I have a rental property. I close on the eighth, right? That's next week. And that one went up. 200 grand. Oh, good, baby. I just, yeah, it's one of them things, you know, how your butt down. I, oh, your butt, okay. Butt <laughs> I got you, man. Look, you be moving and grooving, talking to everybody else other than the sun. You can't even help yourself, can you? <laughs> you do it. You do it, Mark. <laughs> hey, man, it was a, tell your wife it was a real pleasure to finally meet her, put a face with a, hey. with a, with a voice and everything. Same here, brother. Same here. For hey, sure. we're going to get together sometime in the near future and take these two beautiful girls out. Yeah, hey, you know what's crazy? Well, as I was driving over here to my open house, I was thinking that exact same thing. I was going to call you and say, hey, let's get let's get together and go and have some dinner one night and really, really get to know each other and whatnot and just keep on uh, building this friendship, man. Hey, man, that, that we all for that. I'm all in. But now this time, your money ain't no good. Your oh, money my money ain't no good. Hold on now. Hold on now. Yes, sir. Really yes, sir. You. All right, man. You take it easy. All right. Okay, buddy. Bye bye. All right. So I met him through a cold call. And this guy is the head of an association, basically the homeowners association of a very affluent neighborhood in Grand Prairie. I actually went with him this morning. They did a walk with the mayor. So I met all the, the city officials, mayors. I got all of their contact information, the people who are actually moving and shaking. And the reason being is I always want to have those contacts because I do a lot of rental properties in Grand Prairie. Those are where my Airbnbs are. So I spoke with one of them one of the officials who's over you know the ordinances and whatnot for grand prairie and i was you know just chopping it up with him really trying to make sure that you know they weren't going to be getting shut down in that area we we talked about some things and i've divulged that in another video but it's always good to have someone have people who are 
on those boards because for the most part, uh, I'm able to get some inside information before stuff starts to happen. Hi. How you doing? Great, how are you? Good, good, good. You guys just driving by, saw the sign, or you kind of saw it online, or realtor sent you? My son saw it. I don't know. He, he saw it online. He signed it in. Okay. Hello. Hello. What's going on, my guy? How you doing? All right, all right. You guys just kind of just drove by, saw the sign. No, my realtor sent it to The realtor sent you to it? Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. You guys been looking pretty long? Uh, a little yeah, bit? Well, no, not really. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been a little rough. Yeah, it's rough out here right now. I'm not gonna lie, if you're a buyer, man, I, I got clients that we uh, kind of go through the same thing. So what we got here is a three bedroom, two bath, and you also have this office space. So it's about 1,760 square feet around that range. They grown, okay, this is this is y'all, this is for y'all only, okay. Okay, I got you for sure. We got a nice, really big, nice big backyard, outdoor, indoor, little flow. That door also opens up so you can, you know, have that flow and whatnot going outside. It'd be a great place to barbecue. Out this way, Savannah. Okay. I was trying to go for a new build, but I don't look like that happening right now. So. Yeah, it's kind of, it's hard to get in there. Um, I would say, just depending on your price point, uh, Forney has a lot of new builds. And a lot of people ain't trying to go over there, so. I got you. Okay, okay, yeah. The new the new builds up here, they 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 high. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or either they high or they, they ain't gonna be built for like another six, seven, eight months. They sold out. So. Yeah. The deadline for the offer for today? Um, we don't really have a deadline yet. We have two offers on it. Okay. Um we'll probably make a decision sometime in this upcoming week. All right. Um so if it's something that you guys think you might be interested in, you just kinda wanna go ahead and put an offer in. Yeah. It's a solid home. My client, they uh, they bought the house, lived here maybe six months or so, ended up moving, rented out, and the same people have been here since 2019. So they took really good care of it, man. I walked in, I thought I was gonna have to do some touch-up repairs, whatever. The house looked just like this. You're gonna have to cut some grass. You're gonna have to cut some grass. <laughs> yeah, I remember my daddy used to do that when he first met me. <laughs> yeah. I got 125 acres out there in Mississippi, so we got them big riding ones, but it takes us it takes us some days. It takes us some days to get that done, yeah. Yeah. My guy. What? No, man. Man, it's kinda of therapeutic to me now. Hello. How you I'm good. How you doing? Good. Williams. Mark, Mark West Branson, nice TD to Realty. You. Pleasure, pleasure. I just wanted, I saw your, the open house sign. Yeah, so yeah, I oh yeah. Through and take a okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. You say you know the house? No, I said so I know the so house. So you know the house, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, bring some Bring some buyers. I'm sure you got somebody that's looking for something around this, this area, right? So hot around here. Yeah, yeah, we have a couple offers on it already, so we're yeah. just gonna go through the weekend and kind of see what we're working with by Monday. Does this one have radio here? here? Say it again. This have a radiant barrier. Radiant barrier. I'm not 100% sure I can check on that. Okay. Uh, she didn't make any mention of it. I didn't see it on the SDN. Okay. So I, I can check that for you though. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious to know. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you my card. For sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You take mine as well. Send me a text mm -hmm. or okay. an email. Yeah, for sure. Quick if you have time. Yeah. If you forget, I'm not going to hold it again. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. I'll find out and I'll shoot okay. it over to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Mark. Real How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm calling regarding your listing at 1409 Samantha Creek Drive. Yes, ma'am. Um, my client, uh, I mean, she, we just, she's interested and we wanted to see it or submit an offer, but I wanted to know if it's a multiple offer situation. So we do have currently a couple of offers, but like I said, we are, we'll probably make a decision sometime middle of this upcoming week. We have a few showings today and an open house today. So if you guys want to go ahead and get your offer submitted, uh, the better, the sooner the better. Sure. I mean, her number is a certain number, and she's not willing to go higher than that. It's 400. Do you think we have a chance of writing it would be like wasting, uh, wasting time? Um, I think you have a chance at 400. So, yeah, go ahead and submit the offer, and then that, that would be a competitive offer for sure. Okay, great. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.